Today I found a new Amazon deal on a gaming PC that I recommend, which is a Cyber Power gaming PC. And usually I recommended a gaming PC from Cyber Power that's on Amazon that used to be $950 and it was a great deal for the price. It had the GTX 1660 Super, the i5 10400, 500 gigs of SSD, 8 gigs of RAM. It was a great overall gaming PC for the price, but right now it's a thousand and a hundred dollars. And there is a new gaming PC from Cyber Power that's actually a little bit better for less price than right now, which is one thousand and twenty dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive than the last Cyber Power, but you have to keep in mind that it has better components and it's still cheaper than the other Cyber Power right now. And with that being said, let's break down the specifications for this new one. This one has for the CPU the i5 11400F which is better than the 10400F, 8 gigs of RAM, and I think this one is the only downside for this PC, 8 gigs of RAM on single channel, I would prefer for the company to spend a little bit more money and charge us $50 extra for 16 gigs or $20 extra for at least 8 gigs of RAM at dual channel, where the performance will improve by a lot, and I prefer that instead of having to upgrade it by myself, and that's why I think this one is the only downside, and this is why you should buy another stick of 8 gigs of RAM. For the GPU, it has the RTX 2060, so it's better than the 1660 Super, and on top of that, you get an entry level of ray tracing where you don't get it on the 1660 Super. 500 gigs of SSD, which might be enough for you or not. If it's not enough for you, I recommend you upgrading it with either one terabyte of hard drive or 500 extra gigs of SSD. It also comes with a Wi Fi adapter already, and that's something positive for some people, and Windows 11 Home. So I think for the price that you're paying $1,030, it's a great overall deal and it doesn't have major issues. If you're wondering, what you can run with this gaming PC, you can run every single video game at 1080p 60fps average and for esports titles you will run them at about 200 fps average, of course depending on the game and the settings, but if you play competitive settings in games like Fortnite, CSGO and Valorant, you will be able to run those at about 240 fps average, which I think is great for the price that you're paying. But also for a game like Fortnite, which is a high RAM demanding video game, it's almost mandatory to have 16 gigs of RAM if you want your game to be more stable and also some extra FPS. Yes. Now, based from what I see here, it doesn't give you the full specifications like the speeds of the RAM and the power supply, but based off reviews, it's the same exact PC as the other Cyber Power but with a better GPU and CPU. With that being said, it has a 650 watts 80 plus gold power supply, so it's great. Also has a B560 motherboard, which is around $120, and that's something really positive because usually pre-built PCs don't spend a lot on their motherboards. For the single stick of RAM, it's at 3200 MHz. So if you're going to upgrade it, upgrade it with another stick of 3200MHz and of course the same model. Don't worry, in the description you will have a 16 gigs of RAM kit with two stick of 8 gigs at around $60 as well with this gaming PC. It's an affiliate link, so if you buy it from there, you will be supporting and helping the channel. Another thing to keep in mind is that it comes with a mouse and a keyboard. Of course, it's not the best keyboard and not the best mouse, and you should keep in mind that these are free stuff, so if you don't have a mouse and a keyboard or you want to upgrade them in the future, it's nice to have a detail like this. Another kind of downside is the CPU cooler, is the Intel stock CPU cooler, but considering that it's an i5 11 for with F, you won't need a liquid cooler or another cooler. Temperatures for the CPU are going to be just fine, so don't worry about this. And also, the case has some good airflow, so overall, this PC is not going to run too hot like other pre built PCs. In games like Apex Legends, at 1080p medium to high settings, it's going to average 140 FPS, but not only that, the CPU is going to average around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, which I think is pretty good. And before giving you my final thoughts about this PC, I made a similar PC build on the PC part picker to see how much a gaming PC that will perform the same is going to cost. It's the exact same components, the i5 11400F, a B560M motherboard, 8 gigs of RAM on single channel, 500 gigs of SSD, the RTX 2060, a Corsair 4000D, and this might be a better case than the Cyber Power one, a 650 watts power supply, 80 plus gold efficiency, and the Windows 10 Home is not of course Windows 11. The total price for this PC is going to be $1500. So you're saving around $500 for a gaming PC that will perform the exact same and it's also pre-built so you don't have to build it by yourself. And if you want to build it by yourself, then you should buy a PC build. But for $500 of difference, I don't think it's worth the price. So for my final thoughts, you end up saving 500 bucks from a PC build 
you end up saving $60 from the other cyber power PC that has worse specifications and it's worth the price considering all of these. Remember that you have a link for this PC down below in the description and you will have as well a lot of gaming PCs in case your budget is above a thousand or under a thousand so if that's the case you should go down below in the description and check the gaming PCs for your budget but if you don't want to do that I have a whole video around it that you can go and watch in the top right of the screen. That was the whole video if you found it helpful please leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content which I do from 3 to 5 times a week. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next video.